Hey guys, it's your girl Tara Crush back with another review and this time it is for The Oval on BET. And I don't know why I felt like I had to say like The Oval, like, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> if you have not already, please hit my subscribe button down there. Thank you so much. And let's get right into this review because this was a kind of interesting episode. Um... It felt like it was full of filler scenes with no real substance, but we'll see as I go through my little notes what we actually discover. Okay, so First Lady, um, I don't know. I don't really like her, you know, sending people to beat up people. That's just like so Veronica Harrington. And I feel like, you know, Tyler already killed her a long time ago for a stupid reason in a stupid way. So don't be trying to resurrect her. Don't be trying to resurrect her character through other characters. That's stupid. Now, she don't even look right, you know, ordering nobody to be beat up. Anyway, I don't like it. Um, and I don't like her demanding that he beat up Ellie. Like, that just doesn't even make any sense. Um, so, you don't have to do it. You've tried a couple of times and was unsuccessful. You mean because you can't do it. You can get anybody to beat her up. Why Why not just have the guy that you sent to beat him up beat her up? Why are you including other people in on your little crazy evil schemes? Like, why are you trying to make him do it? Like, what did he do to you? You don't make no doggone sense, First Lady, and it's, it's stupid. It really is, and I, I'm sick of that storyline already. I'm sick of it, um, but it was funny how he kicked him in the kitchen, though. I ain't gonna never forget that. <laughs> And Sharon, um, so Sharon is talking to um, Dale, and now all of a sudden she's going to her sister's house to change clothes. Oh, so now you're back to going to your sister's house because last week you was talking about you was coming home to Kareem's. And it was like next week you with Kareem again. Like, girl, get your life together, Sharon. Get your life together, honey, because this is ridiculous. <laughs> I need you to do better. Um... Uh, Barry, oh my God, he is so cute. Hey? Like, I just love this Barry. The laid back, chill, um, rational Barry. You know, I thought that was just the cutest thing. And then him, you know, eating breakfast with his mom and whatnot. And then she all cute with her little black on. I said, what she got on up under there? Mm -hmm. And then here come Richard. <laughs> she was like, you want some breakfast, baby? And, you know, of course, Barry had to let him know, you know, you need to speak to her. Dad, come on, man. Don't, don't be like that. So he was kind of promoting them, you know, kind of getting on the, the right foot. And he was like, yeah. His, his dad was like, are you high? He was like, yep, sure am. So I can relax. And he said, now, let some in y'all's room. Y'all need to smoke some so that y'all can relax. <laughs> I said, he is a mess. And he know his father work at the White House. He cannot be smoking trees. But, you know. He did. And that was uh that was cute. Um, uh, but I'll get to that later. Let's see, uh Priscilla is just like I don't know. I loved I loved her last week. I loved her flexing her strength and her power, but um I don't like where her character is going. I just don't I don't appreciate it at all. Um maybe later I will, but right now I just don't appreciate this line because one minute, she hates Sam. She can't stand him. He's not supposed to come home. Uh, it's her house and everything. And then the next minute, she's threatening the first lady uh, on sleeping with him. He's not your concern if you're leaving him, honey. Don't be trying to control everything. And when your husband asks you a question, you need to answer it, honey. He asked you, was you in the FBI or the CIA? And you wouldn't answer that question. <laughs> you see, a chef it ain't supposed to know Victoria's father. Like, how did you get to lower this man? What was he yo is that your is that your dad or something? Wouldn't it be something? Wouldn't it be something if she was his daughter too? And <laughs> nah, it ain't gonna happen. <laughs> but that would be something. But you know, Sam is definitely feeling betrayed because he feels like his wife is uh Coburn and he doesn't know it. He doesn't like it at all. So we'll see what happens with that. But I just feel like you changing locks and all this and that is just stupid. 
you if you're gonna do all that then don't feel like you can still control who that man is around or who he dips his penis into gone and file your for your divorce and leave that man alone so he can come on over here where it's cool i'm just saying <laughs> nancy and her peer pressure to richard was cute she was basically like yeah you need to come over here and smoke some of this with me because um Barry left this for us, and yeah, this is what we need to be doing. And she's like, okay, well, I'll smoke it myself. He's like, you can't smoke that. You have asthma. And she was like, look. And she was just hitting it, you know, just as calmly. And then eventually he snatches it, and I'm like, oh, shoot, they're going to wind up doing the oochie coochie. <laughs> I said, they're going to wind up doing the oochie coochie. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why I wanted to see it. I wanted to see it. <laughs> and I stinked it. I was like, ooh, when he took that weed, I said, oh, my God, baby, that is the aphrodisiac. He's going to be in the mood in a hot second. And he was trying to fight. She's like, uh-uh, you want me. And she done put her tongue in his ear. I was like, ooh, Nancy. <laughs> you too freaky, girl. Rare. So, yeah, she got her husband back because he was definitely diving on in it when they, when they cut that scene. I was like, okay, then, Nancy, perseverance is everything. Ain't nobody told you to give up on your husband, and she didn't. She, she's been there the whole time, and I thought that was kind of cute. So I was happy that that finally happened because he tried to come in and act like he was going to start ignoring her again. Mm-mm. That's overdone. Let's see. Dale rejecting Cal was kind of like, uh, yeah, of course he's supposed to. But then he's questioning him. Did you do this to me? Did you have this done to me? Like, why are you here? Why did you go to the pharmacy? Oh, you're stupid. Ugh. Overdone. Let it go. He's not going to tell you nothing. You know he's not going to tell you nothing. So I don't even know why you asked. I really don't. And please don't, don't keep pressing it. And then Cal trying to act like at the end before he left, he knew who did it. Well, why didn't you say that in the beginning when he asked you? Then all of a sudden, I think I know who did this. Shut up. Get your stupid face on out of here. You don't even make no sense. <laughs> Get your old stupid face out of here. <laughs> Donald and Lily are... I mean, how many times we're going to hash and rehash the same situation and feelings between two people? But I guess it was a little bit different today because he was concerned with who, why she was in his office the last last time, last night. And of course, she's still acting like she don't know what he's talking about, but he knows for a fact that somebody was trying to access his computer in um, his office, so through the White House. So I don't know why she's still playing dumb, but I don't know what what trap he said either because he clearly did something to his office so that he would know if and who came in his office to do anything try to get on the computer or anything so we'll just have to see how that plan pans out but um and then you know he he leaves to go off to work and then she gets up immediately to go upstairs but with Bobby, I'm like, why you wouldn't at least wait until this man pull off? Like, don't be that doggone thirsty, girl. Chill. You got this man standing in your attic uh, in your, you and your husband's house and you can't even... Mm. She gonna, she gonna slip up. That's, that's what's gonna happen. But I tell you what, I don't blame her for going up there and um, getting that penis either. He bent the right over. She said, I got maybe five minutes and he was like, shh. I don't need that long. <laughs> I said, you better get it, Bobby. She, she won't come over here and get this. I guess you should settle for that. Since she paying you or whatever. Mm -hmm. You paid to do her. I ain't got no money for you. I understand. But anyway, I'm kind of sick of their, um, of her. Like I said, I'm kind of sick of her and Donald's dynamic. And I hope it changes soon. Um, and I hope she gets away from Donald and actually maybe goes off with Bobby. Um, the first lady having Alan walked up and then badgering him about Ellie was dumb. Like, how you going to be the first lady literally demanding that he be his girlfriend who also works for the White House, but you act like you don't care nothing about Hunter. So why do you want her beat up so bad? And then, uh, you know, Donald and Hunter again, with the same conversation, Hunter wants to kill, um, his father-in-law and Donald's trying to let him know, I don't think that's a good idea. He is our protection. So basically what Donald is trying to tell you without hurting your feelings is that her father is above your pay grade. You can't order a hit on him because he's up here and you down here. As president, you down here. 
he's up here. And so Donald's like, no, but I think at, at the end of the day, Hunter giving him one hour, you know, time frame. Hunter might mess around and find himself shot and killed. Don't don't play, don't put Donald under pressure. He's very impulsive. <laughs> He's very impulsive. And they and it's been whispers to get rid of you anyway. Of Sharon the new because and you're gonna sit there and tell Donald that you don't even care? That you don't care? Oh, okay. So yeah, Donald's gonna do with that information. I don't know what, but something will be done. And then um I just feel like uh I don't know. I felt I found it kind of odd that Ellie wasn't home or at work, but then she's on the next episode. I was almost thinking that maybe creepy Jason may have gotten to her and did something to her, but clearly she's in the house. She's in the White House next uh, on the next episode, so maybe Alan was lying when he said she didn't come home. I don't know, but um, that was about everything. So again, it was a lot of filler episodes, a, a lot of filler scenes, but nothing real concrete, no new, no real newness. So we'll just have to see how it all comes out and all, how, how it all comes together. And hopefully it'll become a little bit more consistent than it has been because it's really starting to get on my nerves. But that is all I'm going to say about that. If you haven't already, please hit my subscribe button. And that is my $5.02. Peace.